Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so first off I wanna say, you know, you know how this goes, channel messages first. Okay, so I'm not the typical TikTok reader, uh, Instagram, whatever, YouTube reader, whatever. My divine purpose is to teach, okay? So it's bigger than just cards, all right? I wanna let you guys know that, you know, right now when it comes to divine masculine and divine feminine, time is of the essence. I just keep getting that in my spirit that time is of the essence. So yesterday, I did harp a lot on Divine Masculine saying, like, you know, get with it. You know, I don't mean that, again, to push their process. I understand that things are a process. But the world, you guys, the world is getting so crazy, all right? It's getting to the point where um, I just saw that there was an a incurable fungus that's out here, kind of like, you know, Kind of like how it felt when COVID started. Like, what? When I saw that, I was like, what? Then I'm looking on the thing and, you know, uh, I get these weather updates. And California just had a tornado, a couple tornadoes. They actually had a cyclone, okay? It was a, uh, what they call a bomb cyclone. It had winds, like a hurricane. And it just blew through, which prompted these tornadoes, okay? So, like, the weather is wonky everywhere. In China, it was slugs that were falling from the sky in the form of rain, all right? You have uh, floods everywhere, different places, earthquakes. How many earthquakes have we had, you guys? Like, I mean, as a world, collectively, as the world, within the last month. It's crazy. So, like, when I say time is of the essence to divine feminine and divine masculine, I mean get it together because... You know, Father is not playing, okay? There is unusual snow in places when it's springtime. There's, you know, what did they say? Um, there was a likely tornado in different places. And I'm like, likely tornado? I mean, we know what classified things are at this point. You know what a tornado is, you know? Um, there's things that are just burning. Right now in Houston, they had um, a few things that happened uh, probably like a month or two ago. They had a tornado just right outside of Houston. They just had plants explosion, you know, two plant explosions, okay? It's just getting bad, you guys. So, like, divine union and divine timing is creeping up on us. So, that's why I keep saying get it together. Time is of the essence, you know? And I keep getting that since 8 thing. I remember watching that thing about... Because I've been seeing a lot of 1212 and 1221. I've been seeing that a lot. But since 8, it's that show where, like, around the world, there are different people everywhere that are meant to be like me, teachers, who show you guys these things, really make it clear for you. You know, I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm not trying to, like, you know, spark fear or, you know, disaster. I'm just saying that it's time to get your life in order and get it together, you know. I'm not one to say, like, oh, it's the end of times, but y'all know it's getting bad. It's getting worse. It's, it's not getting better. It's getting worse. Okay? Um... <clears throat> So it's time to live in your divine purpose. And my divine purpose is to teach you guys these things, okay? You know, I'm all NASA related and all that good stuff or whatever. Speaking of which, there's the planetary parade coming, which is like five of the planets are going to be aligned. Um, when is it? March 28th in some places, you know, March, March 27th in other places. But just keep that on your calendar because that's very important. When, when things line up, things line up. The 28th of March you guys it's coming so like just be prepared for there's a big shift in energy but there's gonna be alignment I just keep hearing that word alignment you know they call it a planetary parade and these planets are aligning and it's kind of taking me to the point where stars align some people are gonna try to say that it's gonna be you know bad energy but I'm focused on the positive here because there are so many disastrous moments right now. oh this morning I just read too that um the Sun just had a cyclone on the Sun <laughs> NASA discovered it on the sun. You guys, look that up. I'm not making this stuff up. I cannot make this kind of stuff up. So not only on our planet are things happening that are just out of here. There are things that are happening, you know, that we're trying to discover and figure out this phenomenon. But it's it's all over the place, you know. So it makes sense that time is of the essence. It makes sense that divine feminine wants her divine masculine and vice versa. Y'all want each other. It makes sense that y'all are ready to give up on this. Y'all have been praying for this. It makes sense. Ready to give up on this. Y'all have been praying for this. It makes sense that it's not about just pushing forward towards a family unit because, you know, you feel like your clock is running out. You feel like, um, 
you know, it's time for a family or time to get your family together. Some people are just longing for that family unit. You know what I mean? Um, but it's bigger than that because these disasters are happening. When something strikes, just like when COVID struck, you know, the, the one thing that people wanted and missed about COVID is that they wanted to be next to their family. Unfortunately, they were straddled all over the place. You know, some people couldn't see each other due to the distance. Some people couldn't see each other due to the health related issues. It's just getting bad out here. Okay. So it's time to heal. And that's what I'm here to teach you guys is to heal. It's about love. It's about finding things through love. Okay. It's about taking the right advice from the right people, knowing that these leaders have stepped up to really sacrifice themselves. I tell everybody all the time, I'm just the vessel. All of these words and everything that comes, comes directly from Father, it comes from Him, okay? So again, I go back to that song, for it's not me, it's He that's miracle. I'm not a miracle, I'm a heaven sent instrument, okay? It's for Father, it's for all of these people to understand the big, bigger picture in this. It's not about your time clock running out because Father, he's in charge. It's not about, you know, um, you just wanting and yearning for your person. It's about, <clears throat> see how my throat chakra is trying to block up. It's about, you know, getting it together for these disasters soon to come. And it's just, the, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I don't mean to scare y'all. I'm just trying to let y'all know, open your eyes and see what's really going on here. It's not about us right now. All right. Um, one thing that I do see, though, um, you know, for those who are ready to give up, just be patient because I see the Divine Masculine is getting a lot better advice. And I'm meaning from a friend. I'm meaning from, um, I heard brother or sister, so maybe somebody like brother's figure, sister figure, um, because their parents, unfortunately, mother and father, just don't have it together. What they have are their experiences. I touched on this yesterday. The mother and father have the their experiences. More than half of the world, the reason why we come into union in these divine connections is because your family line, your lineage, is depending on you to save the line, okay? That means that taking advice from your mom or your dad is not the best advice. Strictly because they're learning through you how to forgive. They're learning through you how to love. So how can they double back and tell you what to do? You're the one who's been called. You're the one who shines brighter than them. And I'm not, I don't mean to put them down. I'm just saying that you're the teacher. They're learning from you, through you, through your boldness, through your courage, through your strength. They can't tell you to forgive someone when they haven't forgiven their past self yet. They still carry around these burdens. And trust me, I know I have experiences myself when it comes to my parents and I love them dearly. I'm not harping on them. I'm just saying that I know a lot of times they're proud of me because I stand boldly and say, I messed up. I did this and I did that. And it took them years to get to the level that I'm at. Not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying that when you come and you're chosen and you're called, Man, you can't you can't take advice when, when you're the example. <laughs> so be the example. Operate through love, through faith, through hope, okay? And this is what your brother or sister or brother figure, sister figure, the one that's like really cheering you on. Your parents are cheering you on too, but like it's it's hard for them to give advice because like I said, they haven't forgiven their past. They haven't forgiven past relationships. They're working on it. They're in process, just like you are. But you got some people that are just like, yes, I see everything that you're doing, your person, your values, your person is valued, even though I've seen some crazy stuff in your connection, y'all are meant to be together. It's like somebody on the outside looking in that knows all the facts that are giving your person strength right now. They're giving your divine masculine strength right now because they see the true love in this. They see the full purpose in this. They know that you're forgiving your person based on the love that's there. So thank God for them. Thank Father for them, okay? Sometimes, too, your parents may have ulterior motives. I just heard that. I'm sorry, but I have to say it. I'm not trying to trigger anybody, you know, um, and this is not my situation, but I have to say this because alter ulterior motives mean that you know, sometimes people can push people towards the, a karmic because they like the way they look or they like, you know, you know, some people like the money that the karmic may provide. OK, it's about the finances at that point. They might be getting a little kickback from that whole situation. 
sometimes it's like, oh, they feel like, you know, they're a better parent than your actual person, but they don't know the you know, little kickback from that whole situation. Sometimes it's like, oh, they feel like, you know, they're a better parent than your actual person, but they don't know the growth. They're not accepting, again, the forgiveness there, the faith that people can change there, okay? So your person, your your parents might not understand, and when I mean ulterior motives, it's they might not understand that this had to happen for a reason, okay? I keep getting choked up because this doesn't, you know, this has to come out. I'm not trying to expose any parents. I'm not trying to cause any drama. <clears throat> but I must say that some people have ulterior motives and some of it is money. Some of it is about the kids. Some of it is because they don't want you to come back to their home. You know, some parents are like that. Some parents are like, you know, stay with them because you can't come back here. Mm -mm, you can't stay with me. Some people are like that, father or mother or both. Some people are just like that, okay? And I'm also seeing jealousy. So some of the parents, I'm not sure, mother, father, because it applies to this collective, mother or father or both are jealous of your true divine counterpart. Okay? And that's just what it is. I don't mean any harm. These are just channeled messages, okay? But meanwhile, you know, you're in a forgiving mode. You and your divine masculine have been going through this process for a minute now. And y'all have been going through the forgiveness process. It's not easy, okay? I told y'all with that heart chakra. It's one of those things that's hard to do, but it has to happen. It's purging your heart of all the pain and all the suffering and everything that went bad. Seeing the good and the glory and things, okay? You're going through that. You're like almost there. I just heard that song, I'm almost there. From the princess and the frog. Y'all are almost there. I just saw, I just saw that the other day with the finish line thing. Y'all are almost there. And then I um y'all are standing up for each other, and I love this. Your person and they're hanging around people now that are standing up for you. Okay. I'm hearing that song. What you won't do, you do for love. You tried everything, but you won't give up. In my world, only you. Make you do for love what I would not do. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I love that. My friends wonder what is wrong with me. <laughs> Y'all know that I'm not a singer, but I'm in a daze from your love, you see. <laughs> I came back to let you know that a thing for you that I can't let go. <laughs> that's a beautiful song, by the way. Okay, so that song is very, very big right now. I'm seeing the numbers uh, 555, 1010, which is completion, 1212. Y'all are both operating on the same level. And then that's so crazy because I keep seeing those threes, okay? Three, 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 three. And I'm seeing that 1212, that's three plus three. And that 33 is a divine, um, what is it called? Ancestor number. It is a divine number, okay? You guys, it is very, very big, okay? So that 33 is important. That's because you guys are coming into union, okay? 444, four, four. it's all good. All is well, okay? So surrender to the divine and understand that this is happening at the right timing. But, I mean, I keep saying that you need to still take on to your part. You can't depend on time. You have to still be responsible for your part. Okay, your healing, your manifestations, everything that you want, okay? 11, 11, manifesting, yes. Everything that you want out of this, you have to be what you want to see. When it comes to these connections, that mirroring is important, okay? So the better you get and the more you do towards a positive lifestyle, the more your person will, and then y'all will both be in the same realm of, you know, getting together. Then you can go and sit on that throne I keep seeing for y'all. Because it's about to get real in this world. And I don't know what is about to happen next. But I can tell you that with these natural disasters. And these things that are happening as far as medically. It's getting real. Realer than it's ever been. Y'all are just going to call me crazy. I don't care. I'm thinking of that movie Interstellar. I just watched that movie, okay? I know. I'm working for NASA and I watched Interstellar. I need my butt whooped. But at the same time. I, I was in a low vibration. I'm glad I didn't see it while I was not in a sober mindset because it's a really good movie. And you have to be sober in order to see it. It's a trippy movie, you know. But I will say every time that I saw it, I would go to sleep. Because I smoke, drink, do all of this stuff, you know. 
and I'm sitting there trying to watch a movie, man, I used to sleep through the movie all the time. I think I only watched the first 20 minutes of it and I would always go to sleep. But I'm glad that I have a sober mind frame with sober eyes and I see things with a clearer view. And I can tell you that that movie is so real, okay? Go watch it. It's about, you know, the world really ultimately turning its back on it. Man, I used to sleep through the movie all the time. I think I only watched the first 20 minutes of it and I would always go to sleep. But I'm glad that I have a sober mind frame with sober eyes and I see things with a clearer view. And I can tell you that that movie is so real, okay? Go watch it. It's about, you know, the world really ultimately turning its back on it. Like the world, these natural disasters, this starvation that's happening, the inflation, the prices, the, the food shortages, all of that. And the whole goal is to find a new world. But like, man, what about us down here that are just still here? Love is going to be the ultimate goal, okay? Love, 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 love. Love is the answer. Love is patient. Love is kind, okay? So get into your purpose. Some of you all aren't just tarot readers, okay? Y'all need to start channeling. Y'all need to start meditating. You know, we can flip some cards. I understand it because, you know, energetically it comes out. But being the vessel, being that true person to stand on your platform and say what you have to say to the world about what's going on with the world before the cards come out. I tell y'all that all the time when y'all are looking at these readers. Make sure y'all are watching these people. That's why I tell y'all I'm not a typical reader. I'm a teacher. You know, I've been called to teach and counsel and help. That's why I'm a guide. All right. So it's, it's about, you know... I'm speaking to the readers now. It's about more than that, okay? It's more than just telling somebody, you know, you know, stay away from this person. Oh, there's a spell here. Oh, the it's bigger than that, all right? It's bigger than that. Even when the love is patient, love is kind, all of that came out. It was uh, Corinthians 13, okay? First Corinthians 13. That was a letter written by Paul because he wanted to talk to the church. All of these are letters to the church, right? And this was to the letter to the church of Corinth. And the main purpose of that big famous line of love is patient, love is kind, it, sees no wrong, it keeps no track of wrongdoings, all of that is because he wanted to say that the ultimate thing is love, okay? So there are all these gifts in the church. And these are gifts, okay? So some of us can read things. Some of us can see things. Claire audience, we can hear things. Uh, some of us have all these gifts combined. Some of us can dream really heavily like me. And I, Claire audience, Claire Buoyant. Um, but the greatest of all these, if you don't have love, you have nothing. That's what, he, like, that's what he put us all on the same playing field for. Love. The whole point of this is love. It's not about, oh, I have this. I have, you know, more skills than you. I got more gifts than you. I it's not about that. It ain't about us competing with each other. It's about the ultimate goal of spreading the love in this world because that's the only thing that there's just too little of. It needs more love, especially in these times we're getting into. And it's only going to get worse from here. Y'all, I'm saying, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm telling y'all that this, this stuff is just... It's inevitable in a lot of ways, which is an interstellar movie. It's inevitable. So what happens, how do we deal with the inevitable, you know? Not trying to scare y'all, but anyways, um, last but not least, I wanted to talk about this song called The Vent. And it's because um, it's this song by Big Crick, King Remembered in Time. And he talks about, I know you've been down so long, so I'll be stronger for you. I know you've been down so long because I've been down too. And he says, yes, I understand what you're going through. Yes, I understand because I'm going through it too. Okay, so we're all living this human experience, you guys. We're all, no matter what. Again, I go back to nobody's more popular than the next. Nobody is better than the next. I understand a lot more than y'all think. I'm, I'm sitting on this uh, platform, but I'm not perfect and I don't pretend to be. I have my own problems as well, and I'm sure a lot of people can attest to that as far as the people who have their own platforms. Everything ain't rainbows and butterflies. I deal with certain issues as well, especially when it comes to relationship stuff, okay? The twin flame journey is hard. I know it is. 
you're talking to the choir right now but i'm you know i'm still bold enough to go out and talk about it i'm still bold enough to put out the information as much as i know and i can share with y'all i understand what y'all are going through i understand sometimes when people comment and say well i don't want them back and you know they can just kick rocks and I get it. I understand we get in that doubtful moment, but don't forget the love. That's my biggest, biggest takeaway from this. And I want y'all to understand not to forget the love. It's all about the love. It's all about the legacy. It's all about proclaiming throughout this legacy, you know, um, pushing forward. Like King Tut, changing the game, changing the whole game, okay? Just like Jesus. I mean, it's changing up everything that people knew. And teaching them what what love looks like. And love is not the typical societal norm. It's not. It's not going to make sense to a lot of people. That's why you need courage. That's why you need strength. That's why you need faith. That's why you need to be bold. Okay? And I'm here to tell you that you have the strength to conquer anything. I know it's taking a lot of patience. I know it's taking a lot of time. I know separation is hard. Ooh, don't I know it? But I also want to encourage you guys because um, it's it's all going to be worth it. You know, in the end, it's all going to be worth it. Love is worth everything. It really is. Anyways, I hope this information helped and blessed. I understand what y'all were going through. Please don't think at any point that I don't. And I just pray, you know, I pray for all of the people in this world because I understand that things are happening in different ways, be it family members or friends or, you know, love, you know, like your counterpart, your loving counterpart or your relationship with God. These are all relationships that you are just navigating through. We're all humans. So I hope this information helped and blessed. Let's go into today. I don't have too many uh, card decks to get through today because the most important part is right now telling y'all that time is of the essence. The most important part is showing y'all that the world is changing in a very mind-blowing scary way and i just want everybody to be prepared and operate out of love and not hate because things are happening every single day every second of the day but miracles happen every second of the day too so just keep believing anyways let's go into today's message i hope this information helped and blessed thank you always for your time y'all i know that i talk i just thank y'all for y'all time seriously because it can help somebody at some point Let's go into today's message. Hi, everybody. Okay, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. No general message today, okay? No general message. I just want to hop into a card for the collective, one for the divine masculine and one for the divine feminine, okay? Divine masculine, what do you need to know as far as the light oracle? What is your light? Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Divine masculine, I keep saying that, you know, your divine feminine is waiting on you. Your life depends on this, okay? Your whole life depends on this. So get it together. And I don't mean that to be rude or messed up or be funny about it. I mean, really, really, take that leap of faith. The universe will catch you. God has your back, okay? Divine Feminine. Father, what does Divine Feminine need to know? I'm laughing because, that, you know, he's like, yeah, I got his back. I got his back. Divine Feminine, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? How? I feel like a lot of times, you know, Divine Feminine, you're deciding, okay, you know, to... You're trying to fit in when it comes to society. And society is not your friend. Society is the people that you're supposed to be teaching these things to, okay? Don't dim to fit in. You you don't belong here. We don't belong here. Divine Feminine, we're divine. Okay? Yikes! That's beautiful. Thank you, Father. One for both of you guys. Father, give me one for both. Give me one for both, Father. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Oh, I love this so much. Y'all, I am shaking and I just got so many chills from this. Break the chain. This is the ultimate goal for this connection is to break those chains, those generational curses, those things that society thinks, those things that have been going into your family for this long and you're supposed to just be bold, courageous and change the game. Break the chain. I love this. Okay, I love this. Thank you, Father. Um, so next card deck, you guys. I just need y'all to understand these things, okay? Marinate on this for a while, all right? Y'all are rewriting the future positively. Let's go to the next deck. Thank you so much for your time. 
Hi, everybody. Okay, so let's get a spirit animal, you guys. One for uh, each, okay? Divine Masculine, let's get a spirit animal for you. Let's see what you need to know to help you. What animal is supporting you right now? The Orca Whale, adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You're more powerful than you know. Divine Masculine, oh my gosh, step into your power. The adventure awaits you. Be brave, be courageous. It's a little scary, I get it. Adventures can be that way, but ultimately the goal is to get you to your destination, okay? <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, Father, give me one for Divine Feminine, Father. A spirit animal for Divine Feminine. Black bear guardian, gentle and wise protector. Give up your confidence. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. You're guiding your love back home. This is so beautiful. For this beautiful loving family, okay? It says gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. You have to ask for more strength from above, okay? It's hard if you just want to do it by yourself. You run out of power. You run out of things. But when you're connected to source, it's like being on a charger with your cell phone. You never run out of power. It never dies. You just keep transferring that energy, right? Because you're connected to source. You can do this, okay? Don't listen to society saying, oh, you know. And I get it. You can't pour from an empty well. I understand that. It's okay to retreat. It's okay to pause and take some time to yourself. Matter of fact, you should be. Matter of fact, you should be always making sure that you're good before you start, you know, giving your energy to others. However, you still need to understand that even if y'all are in separation, you still need to be giving your loving, healing energy to your person. Because the point is to still show love. Don't show hate. Don't show, like, spite. Don't show unforgiveness. Show them that love is still love, okay? It never fades. One card for both of them, Father. Give me one card for both. So I got two. We got the wolf, the pathfinder, and fox, which is clever. So I'm going to do wolf pathfinder, okay? Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. This is for both of you guys. The pathfinder, the wolf. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's for both of you guys. And then y'all have the fox, clever, okay? Look at these. This is cute. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. Oh, you guys. Y'all have clever ways of doing things. This is why y'all are being called together, you know, for a divine purpose. All right. That's why y'all have to be working on this separately to get called together to just. You know, that little heart. Oh, my gosh. I love this. So, anyways, let's go to the last card deck for today. Okay, you guys? Thank you so much for your time. Thank you always for watching. This is so beautiful. Actually, no. I have two more. I want to pull Divine uh, Masculine Silence and see what's going on there. And see what they want to really tell you today, okay? Just to give y'all a little bit more of hope and oomph. Y'all should know that 555 five, five, things are happening in the background, all right? Next video. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, Divine Masculine Silence. Let's see what your Divine Masculine wants to say to you if you're in low to no contact with your person, okay? And most of the time, this is really, really low contact, okay? So I just want to get a few cards and see what Divine Masculine wants to say to their feminine father. What do they want to say? The first card that says, let me sort things out and I will be back, okay? They're sorting things out. Remember, 555, five, five, they're doing things in the background. Positive changes are happening and you don't even know it. Things are getting sorted out for them. What else, Father? I deny my feelings because they scare me. So this masculine is like, they, they know that they love you, but the love that they have for you is so overwhelming that it really does scare them. They're like, man, how, especially if y'all have been in long separation, how after all these years and after all these things that have happened, how do I still, I'm still like, like a little kid when it comes to this love, I'm still in love real hard. <laughs> I love that's beautiful, okay, you guys? My partner is a good person, and I'm struggling with causing pain. So your person is really, really struggling with causing uh, this other person pain. Like, you know, you're their divine counterpart. This person is just somebody who's there as a placeholder. 
they don't want to hurt their feelings they're doing everything that they can like i said yesterday they they're trying so hard not to just be mean about it but they know they don't want to be there they know that that connection is not a real connection okay i'm sorry for blocking you it was just easier for me okay so while they deal with their emotions and their feelings I feel like they've been working a lot, like working, 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 like hands to the, you know, working, trying to create the financial gain, trying to create the family stability, working through emotions, working through trauma, working through pain. The masculine has been working and it's been easier not to think about this overwhelming love while I do it. It says, I didn't mean to block you and now I don't know how to undo it all, but I'm working it out. <laughs> See, they're working it out. They're just sorry. They do regret blocking you, but they're still, again, working. Let me get two more cards for this, Father. One card came. You are a part of me. I can always feel you, okay? They can always feel you, okay? One more card, Father. And then this last card says, I'm processing. So they're processing everything right now. They're still like, you know, in that processing phase. You know how you upload something and it says processing and then it starts to load? Okay, so they're in that part where it's just like, you know, it's trying to recognize what's being uploaded right now. Bottom of the deck energy is you mean more to me than anyone ever has. And I'm learning what that means. Okay. One, four, three, as I say, that's so beautiful, which is I love you, you know, in the little. Anyways, um, it says you mean more to me than anyone else. And I'm learning that that means what that means okay so they didn't know that they would have such an intense love with you like that okay and that's the reason why the family was was so upset with me because they recognized like wow your divine masculine would do anything for you that's dangerous what's what is that because they don't know love you're breaking so many change chains and so many norms it's not about the sex they have they thought of, it was just about the but it's not about that. It's about the connection. It's about y'all being tied. And then some people say you can untie souls. I don't believe in that. I believe, you know, things are tied together for a reason in a lot of ways. That's why it's, it's advised to be careful who you connect with. All right. But anyways, let's go to the last deck. Thank you guys for so much. Hi, everybody. Okay, last but not least, I just wanted to get some messages of love cards and messages of love. Let me get two for each and see what um, Father has for you guys for today. Father, give me Divine Masculine. The first thing that turned over is passion. Try something that you've never done before. One more, Father. That almost turned over. And healing, okay? So you do have passion for your person. You're you're into a place where you're like so passionate for your person that this is new. It's like, wow, I've never, ever, ever felt this way. And that song just came in my head, Brian McKnight. I never felt this way about loving. It feels so good. Okay, y'all know, know I'm not a singer, so don't judge my life. But they're healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting, so they're healing this. They know that they've never felt any other way with anyone else, and that's causing them to heal their inner child. Because now they have to realize that, you know, um, all the player ways, all the lying, all the crazy stuff that, you know, uh, sometimes people get into, like the childhood things that they were doing because they weren't recognized as a child to be in a place of love. One, 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 as I say that. Um, now they're seeing that those were toxic things that they were doing. That doesn't make them toxic. That means that they have an opportunity to change, okay? Divine Feminine, give me two. True love, okay? This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. That's the first card that comes out. Give me one more, Father. For Divine Feminine. Oh, Twin Flame. This is a divine counterpart connection, okay? I keep telling y'all that. Y'all don't want to believe me. I feel like the masculines are finally getting it. And as the masculine gets it, the divine feminine pulls back and goes, this can't be my person. I've been waiting forever, forever. I get it, okay? But this is a true love twin flame connection. And this is for my twin flames right now, okay? Let's be clear about this message today. This is about the twin flames today and the twin flame journey. Father, give me um, one card for both. Just one for both, Father. Just one for both. Divine masculine and divine feminine, okay? Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring, okay? Be careful of getting into these kind of things, okay? This is Father telling y'all, you know, two, 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 as I say that, that balance, okay? Don't knock it off balance by being with someone else 
and not your counterpart, okay? I feel like both of you guys are trying to give up on this and saying, oh, I could just sneak a little something, something in. No, you can't. No. Because this strictly sexual card is letting me know that you guys are contemplating getting back with karmic energies. Both of you guys. Because this is a both card. Divine feminine, divine masculine, don't do it. Do not get into it just a strictly sexual situation just because your person isn't coming back. Do not do it, okay? It's not worth it. I'm just hearing right now completely that it's not worth it. It is not worth the trouble. It's not worth connecting your body to. It's not worth confusing your mind because when you do connect with somebody just to be, you know, friends with benefits or whatever the case may be, it confuses your thought process. It confuses your decision making. You don't want to be confused. Trust me on this one. I am just trying to help you guys because this love, this passion, this real true connection does not need other people inside of it. Drive the dark of doubt away. Bottom of the deck, energy is decision. It's time to decide about this relationship, okay? Yes. Don't cloud your decision. Don't cloud that with this. Do not cloud your decision-making skills when it comes to this connection. Because I'm, I'm sure, especially if you're this divine feminine who's been, you know, not really connected with another very, very uh, dry, you know, it's been dry city for y'all. A lot of y'all have been very uh, committed to this, celibate, not really just giving it up to anybody. Stay in that. I know it's hard. I get it, you know? It's hard just to be like, okay, well, they doing whatever, so I might as well. No, stay in that energy of keeping your to yourself okay you're mirroring each other don't mirror something stupid anyways i'm sorry to say that i don't mean it like in a bad i don't mean to you know talk about you and, and say that in a mean way i mean archangel michael is going to protect you from this but i just want you guys to know that don't do anything crazy because of the time please y'all if you've been keeping it keep it clink clink celibacy is okay to have until your person comes in 444 as i say that all is well this is true love don't mess it up continue to move forward okay that's what i have for you guys today i hope this information helped and blessed okay i will see y'all at another time okay probably not tomorrow but like a couple days i'm gonna let this marinate for a while because this is really really a big powerful message in a lot of ways not just the channel messages but even that last part about you know just keeping to yourself i know some of y'all because of the time want to go ahead and just you know what if i just get a little no that's for you too divine masculine no it's a no so keep it to yourself. That's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time.